Welcome back. It's always great to see our friend. Of course, we go live, and now the cat starts acting up. Uh, Marcy <laughs> Bowling with Watching Over Whiskers. And who have you brought for us this morning? I brought Andre and Gaston. Mm. Which one is, do I have? Well, I don't know, because now okay. I've separated them. I don't know. But um, their mom is Giselle, so they're French. Oh, Giselle, yeah. And then Charles oh, no. and Henri are their brothers. I feel like this one's looking at you. Is Henri right. Henri? He is, actually. <laughs> is Henri. he really? That's why I didn't bring him, because, you know... That Henry's very honorary. He's uh -huh. busy. Mm -hmm. These two are like the more laid back of the, of the four. But they seem like best friends. Oh, they are. They love each other. They're not really sure what they're doing in the studio. They're a little like, what's all this moving stuff in the bright lights? And mm -hmm. yeah, Marcy got us up really early and I'm sorry, you baby. Know, didn't feed us breakfast, which mm -hmm. is rude and things like that. So <laughs> they, they probably are going to be ready for a snack here really soon. We would love to see these brothers and their other, there's a, so, so there, there's four brothers in the litter. Okay. And um, I think they're roughly seven and a half months old. Mm -hmm. So they are just as cuddly and loving and cooey as the day is long. The other brothers are black and silver tabbies, mm -hmm. kind of like their mama. Okay. And so they're gorgeous and they're like a medium length. And then she had two panthers. And so um, for the, for right now, we've got a holiday special going on mm -hmm. home for the holidays because we've got so many wonderful babies. You know, I think, you know, we've talked about it since COVID hit, the population has gone like this and adoptions and support have gone like this after 2021 when people went back to work. Like everybody was riding high in 2020 and then part of 2021 adoptions were going great for, you know, groups. Mm -hmm. Everything was wonderful, rainbows and unicorns. And then people went back to work and life went back to normal but not exactly normal as we know it. So um, we've got so many sweet babies and the requests are off the chart and they get worse as we go into winter because suddenly everybody that's been feeding cats outside all summer starts to panic when you guys start talking about cold weather like Tom was doing yeah. and snow coming and things happening. They all freak out and want us to take the cats they've been feeding all summer. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, no choice. Right. It becomes urgent and they're nervous and they want, you know, they start really, you know, yeah. pounding to get them in, which I understand, but when we all have all these to get homes, we can't, it's, there's nowhere no, to put them. There's no, right. yeah, there's no room. There's no room. Yep. So okay. we've got a promotion. It's a $150 adoption special for home for the holidays for a bonded pair and $175 for those over three years old that are oh, singles. I need okay. Them. So, so you were saying these two brothers would be a good bonded pair, and the other two they, if can, they could be mixed and matched any oh, foursome. Okay. They, ador they okay. adore each other. Yeah, they are so cute. So, okay, any combination thereof. And then, what about Giving Tuesday? So, Giving Tuesday, of course, is the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. So it's December third. We have a twenty-five thousand dollar matching gift challenge that we need to meet by December third, right, to receive the twenty-five thousand. Mm -hmm. Our vet bills run between 15 and 20,000 a month and our supply bills run between 5 and 10,000 a month. So that's basically roughly 2 months worth of operation for the for the animal side mm -hmm. what we do, right? So it's really important that we meet that goal, maybe exceed that goal and and have money going into year end, you know, to help us kick off in January. So, we've got fundraisers on Facebook, people can uh, Venmo, they can go to our website and donate to CFO. I mean, everything Everything counts. They can snail mail. They can call us and say, we have a check. We'll come over and pick it up. Anything like that to help. We have, I brought these that are really fun so that mm. Maddie can be Vanna. Okay. Um, we'll start with these. You know, we have wonderful volunteers who make the cat beds and the cat kickers. Now, these cat beds, my little men pins, they love the beds. You know, they love these beds. Mm -hmm. So um, they're a $15 donation. And um, then the, the kickers have catnip in them and crinkles. And they're, oh. they're five. So... They're a ton of fun. There's the crinkles. <laughs> My cats like the crinkles, and they like chasing lasers. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Who doesn't like to chase a good laser? Oh, my gosh. My cats are so good at it. These boys love their brothers. These guys are hysterical with the laser. Oh, I bet. They are really, they're at that age where they're super entertaining and funny mm -hmm. right now. This is, like, the perfect age. Now, you might want to, like, cage your Christmas tree up, but... There you go. Yeah, but on that note, if people want more information about Watching Over Whiskers and everything you've got going on, best way to reach you? So, you know, they can go to watchingoverwhiskers.org and do the contact us. They can, they can call us or text us at 417-324-4486. Guys, go adopt them right now, Marcy, please. thank you so much. Please, so they're so sweet. Look how cute they were to alter the segment. That's I know. So good. so good. So good. All right, you guys, uh, we are putting the Ozarks first this week, which means we're going to check in with Tom Turton in just a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Look at the sweet little face. He's just like, hello.